Let's move quickly to our second and last story, which is the near all-out war that we've seen um, in recent days in Jubilee uh, over the 2022 uh, differences to campaign, not to campaign. Are we just working? You know, what's the position? Listen to what Ngujiri Wambogo had to say uh, earlier this <coughs> week um, here on Citizen TV. Used to support the president's big four or his fight against corruption. We had Kipchumba, Senate Majority Leader, the leader of the Rift Valley Caucus, telling us he does not support the lifestyle audit. If, for example, the deputy president woke up today and said he did not, I let me finish. Good. Let it me finish. Good. If the deputy to, president to, said to he does allow. not support the lifestyle audit, uh, do we still owe him the support that for 2022? But I'm, that's what I'm saying. So we cannot have a conversation about 2022 Fine. until we get to 2022. But because is, many things can happen. That is not what the Jubilee Party promised. If you're following the leader you're yes. talking about, which uh, is and the and let me explain something, Hussein, about how, what the, the Jubilee Party said. Right now, we have seen the president. National cohesion was one of the things that the Jubilee Party said. The president reached out to Raila Odinga and, create, and did a handshake. Chair again, my friend, and some people, mentor, and some people who are, who operate with him, but even Ruta was in ODM, and some people who operate with him mm -hmm. have gone very straight, uh, very firmly against the handshake. As far as they are concerned, they want it. All right, so, you know, just, uh, you know, an outburst of, of issues, be it um, the lifestyle audit and the, the approach that, that is being um, uh, fielded by some as, you know, dealing with corruption um, and many other things. I mean, as Kenyans watch the ruling party going on, how many years to the end of this um, presidency, they were meant to deliver a very specific agenda and all we get to watch is this treating barbs over an election in 2022. I mean, what are we to make uh, of of this party? Are, uh, I mean, are these people serious? Well, uh, I can see back looking at me. I, I think he has nothing to say. Oh, I have a lot no, to say. No, I'm but, I'm but, just, <laughs> but, but, but let, let me and start. And I'm very <laughs> interested in what Mark was saying. Yes, right? but what I think is uh, President Kenyatta might have had his suspicions about some of the people he work, has been working with since 2013, but he didn't know how to handle it. But he, he released a bait. The bait, let's have a, 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 a lifestyle audit, which is part and parcel of our constitution. That, that actually uh, speaks to the fidelity of the constitution, lifestyle mm -hmm. audit. Then he also said, okay, we want to reconcile the nation. Because we cried over this in this, mm -hmm. in this, in this, in this opinion court. And many other media houses said, after the election, we need to reconcile. Mm -hmm. I think everybody, at part, any patriotic Kenyan knows that where we are as a republic in terms of human relations, we are better off than we were a year mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. Because we are now talking to each other, which we wanted. Mm -hmm. Now, part of the reconciliation will also to be to reconcile political factions. He said that bait again. Some people swallowed that in his own team, they did not uh, seem to support it. He, uh, at one time, he looked like a, lo a lone ranger. Now, those are two critical things, and they have happened. They have, then, you know, some people even ended up floating the name of the deputy, uh, the, the, the president's family. Mm. Mm. In fact, that by their own declaration, mm. they declared war on the president's family. Suppose it is not true. How does the president take that? Because I don't know these facts. You are a lawyer. But suppose it's not true that the president's uh, brother is involved in this and then you mention him. How does he take it? And you, are, you, 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 you probably represent a bigger faction headed by a different person. How does he take it? So now that bait has been swallowed. The president knows mm. how 2022 would look like. And so some people, including Gujiri, might have noticed that actually the president is not comfortable with what is happening. One faction. But there is another faction within the Jubilee which probably wants all these things not to happen, and therefore the focus is 2022. And the, the president doesn't want to leave behind a country which has this kind of divisions where people don't want to reconcile, people don't want lifestyle audit, and, and also people mention mm -hmm. other people's names as a way of defending themselves mm -hmm. against the, the request for lifestyle audit. Mm -hmm. This is tragic. And so the president must have decided now time is up so he's not playing ball maybe he's some of his supporters i don't think all his supporters know what he's doing a few of them know but not all of them some of them will be given they 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 are fighting decoys so in the end what the president will do uh -huh. and with this kind of situation is that it is going to deteriorate further because if he, he looks at 2023 when he is not the president 
he probably now thinks mm. he has a clear picture of how the country would look like if it is under so and so or not so and so. <laughs> oh, and, you know, oh, okay. And, yes, critically, mm. we must look at President mm -hmm. Kenyatta's age. Mm -hmm. President Kenyatta will retire when he's 60 years old. Given mm -hmm. the life expectancy in this country, he's probably got another 30, 40 years in him. In that 30, 40 years, that legacy of his can be totally eroded or he can be driving in the streets of Nairobi and will point at him and call him a failure. So we must situate a few things. We must first situate the truth, the truth for all Kenyans. Number one, the handshake was good for this country. Number two, the big four is good for this country. Number three, the fight against co corruption and contraband is good for this country. What we must then find is where is the lack of intelligence and integrity on the part of certain Jubilee members that is causing this fiasco. When I talk about intelligence and integrity, I talk about a leader of government business in parliament saying that he opposes the lifestyle audit because it can be abused because the laws are not firm. Question, what is your job? Who is this that he is expecting to pass the law? Can the president pass a law? No, he cannot. So how can the leader of government business be unable to place a law, a bill in front of parliament to situate correctly the issue of lifestyle audit? Mm -hmm. That is the lack of intelligence I'm talking about. The lack of integrity also is in an, in an attempt for our parliamentarians and senators to defend themselves. They've fallen into the trap of causing a war between... Uh, Uhuru and Ruto and talking about 2022 while in true earnest their real fight is the fight against corruption. They do not want this fight to continue because they thought the president was playing politics. But the truth of the matter is this that if the president is going to win the war against corruption there must be blood on his sword. And he has uh, fired the first salvo in saying that if his own brother was involved, let him be persecuted. That should be a clear sign for those in Jubilee who hope to hide under the skirts of 2022 and engage uh, in corruption. Let me tell the president and the public today, please slay those dragons. Slay those sacred Even cows. if at the expense of Jubilee collapse. Yes, because the truth of the matter, we do not want a Jubilee that exists simply to ascend to power. We want a Jubilee that is able to give this nation what it requires. That's how it needs mm. to be. Well, I think um, the thing is this. The president has acquired some critical political dividend because you see governance is organized at the ballot. Whoever emerges the winner and whoever is sworn in as the president is the one that holds political accountability. The legacy questions will rest on how he manages the political landscape. So if he comes out and says, and you know, if you look at corruption perception index by the Transparency International, mm. has continuously ranked Kenya at a depressing level, for number 143 out of 186 countries assessed. Mm. So if he comes out firmly and says, I want to, I want to stem or contain corruption, and you have, and I want, I want, I want, I require, uh, I require lifestyle audit. Mm. And you have a faction of, in government openly opposing that. That is, that is being, not just being disruptive, but also being disrespectful mm -hmm. of the political figurehead. Not just of the political wing of government, but also of the state as you know it today. So I think to that extent, uh, people, are li people are less likely to, 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 to trust the Jubilee wing of politics that are, that are, that are disruptive or, op or, or maybe uh, uh, that are opposing this lifestyle audit hmm. because if there is any kind of harmony that is needed within any wing of, any wing of, uh, of, of, of political formation, it should be Jubilee because Jubilee is the one that is now in power. Hmm. So I think going forward, it, I would probably encourage the president to press on. These are the things that Kenyans care for. Kenyans care that we, we stem wastage and pilferage, corruption, impunity. So these things will, will, will ultimately undermine the realization of the big four agenda. Mm. So if you have anyone in the political formation disrupting that, that's the enemy of the people and the enemy of progress. And it's very dis disheartening to say the least because this time the disruptions are not coming from the political opposition as we know it, mm. but well within the Jubilee faction because of the arrangements for 2020 politics. I think the president has done well in terms of isolating the issues. This is his legacy. He's trying to secure his legacy. People are trying to disrupt it because they want to arrange the politics of governance in 2022 when he will not be president. So I think even him now it's open to him. Remember, because of what we saw now with the Supreme Court uh, 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 issuing a, a, an advisory that governors can replace deputies, mm -hmm. it is not beyond reach that if the president falls out with the deputy, he can actually replace him. 
you know, there are other mechanisms in law because mm -hmm. now the, a president has been set that the president can reappoint any, any person, uh, can appoint any person as the deputy president. If there's a terrible fallout, then the two cannot work together. There will be a reinterpretation of the functional mandate of the deputy president. Either he'll be sidelined significantly and be rendered irrelevant or he'll be forced to quit, in which case the government will continue and someone else will replace him. If, uh, if, if, uh, if, uh, if, if they were listening, I think what now everybody should do, it is very it's very rare to find mm -hmm. that the president comes up so strongly right. to support the war on corruption as he has done. See, so there's, at a this quote, time, there's a phrase you used to use quite a yes. bit during the elections, and you said, justice, uh, you, may, you may need to remind me, justice <laughs> should happen, though the heavens may fall. Is that what yes, you said? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, is that justice should be done even if the heavens may fall. So where we are now, mm. corruption must be fought and be fought vigorously, even if there are political casualties. Yeah. Yeah, but there must be blood on the sword. Yeah, there must Guys, be we're out of time. We're out of time. <laughs> Prof, yes, if you can say it in 15 seconds. Yes, you see, uh, what is happening in the Jubilee now, we have now come to understand from this battle why some people joined the Jubilee. They had no interest of this country at heart, but now you can see this different interests are playing. President Kenyatta has just been reminded through this that he joined hands with the people who did not share the same interests as himself. Mm. And uh, therefore, my recommendation is, if it goes on and goes on like this, President Kenyatta leave Jubilee to collapse and form a political wing that can bring yeah. sanity to the Republic. Though mm. the heavens may fall. Mm. Though the heavens How dramatic. <laughs> 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 That's where we wind up opinion court tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm Anne Kiguta. Um, thank you to my guests. You have a wonderful evening and weekend ahead. Bye-bye. God bless you.